Good morning. Uh, Derry Casey here from the Irish Farmers Journal. I'm the machinery editor with the journal. Um, here we are in Newcastle, County Mead, on the farm of uh, Paul Gilsenen, and we're here for an Irish Grassland Association reseeding demo. Um, basically, the purpose of today is to just let farmers see the benefits of reseeding, um, the costs involved in reseeding, and also the type of machinery that they can use. Um, my own end, I'm going to be looking after the six machines doing the machine commentary here. And there's a good range of machines here, which you'll see during this clip. The first machine we're going to look at today is a subsoiler. Now this is a machine made by a company called Earth Engineering. And the machine is owned by a contractor called Tifford Cranson. And Tifford is based in Kells, County Mead. Uh, it basically just has four discs and four legs, uh, with about 18 inches of distance between each disc and leg. It subsides to a depth of between 12 to 18 inches, depending on, uh, I suppose, the problem of the depth, the problem of, of the drainage. Um, it's fitted with a roller behind for pushing down lumps in the grass, and this roller basically controls the depth to which you subside. This machine is valued at around 12,000 euro, uh, and the contractor is charging 35 euro per acre, including VAT. The second machine we look at today is a combination of a Kuhn power harrow with a Fiona box drill. It's a one pass system. Uh, this machine is operated by Thomas Brown, and Thomas is from Bally McManus in uh, Castle Pollard, County Westmead. Now, the Kuhn is basically just a rotary harrow, and then you have the mounted grass seed barrow from Fiona. It's quite a simple machine. The seed barrow is gear driven, so basically the faster you travel forward, the more seed uh, that comes out. Uh, the field ideally is rolled separately after this machine because it leaves a little bit of a rough finish and you often need stones to be pushed down. Um, this machine is valued at 15,000 euro. That includes the uh, power harrow and the box drill. Supplied by a local dealer here, Meat Farm Machinery. And the cost that Thomas Brown charges for this machine is 70 euro per acre including VAT. Now it's quite an intensive machine and the reason the cost is a little bit higher is because you will burn more fuel and it's a much slower operating pace. He normally drives at around 3 miles per hour but it is a one pass machine. After that then we have the uh, Guttler Greenmaster which you might be able to see directly behind me. Uh, this is owned by a and Agri Services. Uh, it's two contractors, Alan Finnegan and Adrian Gallagher, uh, both, based in, both, both based in RD County Loud. Uh, this is basically a combination of three machines. On the front you have a ripper board with a double set of tines. You then have roller punches uh, which punch the ground up to 300 times per square metre. Um, after that then you have the cedar itself, which is an air-blown cedar uh, from APV. And one of the key features of this is the way in which the seed is distributed down onto a metal plate. And the seed cascades across uh, the ground rather than just falling in lines as you might see in a corn drill. And this helps with the tillering effect of the grass or the clover then uh, in future months. It tillers up more quickly than it would say if the seed was dropped in just one line. Uh, this machine valued for €16,350, supplied by trainers of Clonmel through Joe Moore, uh, the local dealer in Mullingar. Cost per acre that a and Agri Sales charge is €35 to €40. Euro depending on how rough the ground is, and it might need two runs, etc. Machine number four, then, uh, we come to a trailing shoe slurry tanker. Now, this is a machine that's owned by a contractor called Podrick Hedderton, based in Virginia, County Cavan. Now, obviously, you're not going to use this machine for actually receding, but it is a machine that's used in, let's say, preparation for receding. Uh, the shoe is six metres wide, and it's a 2,500-gallon tanker. It uses a macerator on the outlet end. It's a hydraulic macerator, horizontally positioned. And uh, as I say, it takes 2,500 gallons of slurry. Our contractor today is going to be applying slurry at that rate, 2,500 gallons per acre, which would be fairly typical. And um, this machine, the tanker and the shoe, was bought for 46,000 euro, including VAT, some two years ago now. It was supplied by Gerard Clark. And the cost that... Um, Padraig Hedderton charges is 58 to 61 euro per hour, including VAT. 